Hello and welcome back to Tic-Tac-Toe from Scratch. Today we're going to be looking at the player turn indicator slash notifier with the help of a point light. So basically whenever it's the turn for player X, a spotlight will be on top of X. Otherwise it will be an O and then it will flip around every time they make a turn. Last time we left off at creating the X and O score, I did end up changing the color and uh, outline to match that of the winner block, so now it looks okay. Also anchored it and centered it properly. So anyways, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is get two point lights in the map, and then we're going to retarget them to be a, a part of the other things or like our gameplay actors. So let me go ahead and select these, make these about a hundred or like fifteen C D and then about two fifty. Is that good enough? Let me see. So that's kind of going to be the spotlight that's gonna denote it. Alright. Now let's go to the level blueprint. So if you guys remember from the third episode when we created the spawn actor so that it will change automatically when we click and we created a if true false. So if it's true then it's X and if it's false then it's O. We're just gonna add it on top of this feature. So since we do have both point lights selected need to make sure I select one, create a reference to that, and then select the other one and create a reference to this one. Okay, so light, this is a reference to O and this is a reference to X. Now we want to use set hidden in game. We're going to need a total of four of these. Okay. So whenever it's the turn for X, point light 2 should be turned on. So it's not going to be hidden anymore. And point light should be turned off. So this is going to be hidden. And then we're going to do the reverse for the other side. So point light 1 is going to be on, and then point light 2 is going to be turned off. Okay, and now I just need to make sure I set them as hidden in-game to begin with. Okay, so neither of them are turned on, and as soon as I press X, it was the turn for X. Then it was turned for O. Uh, I think I have it flipped. Okay, no worries. I have no idea why that happened, but we can look at it. So let me go ahead and do that. So next is O. Next is X. O. Okay. So all of that seems to be working fine, and yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching.